Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we're going to be looking at a tutorial covering a quick reaction alert or QRA for short. Before we get to that, I just want to say thank you to all you subscribers out there. Uh, you've managed to get me up to 300 subscribers and that is much appreciated. It really does help uh, giving me the bit of motivation there to keep going and uh, creating some uh, videos for you all. Um, so, but Less of that, and let's move on to the video. So let's go ahead and jump into the mission editor. So here we are, we're on the uh, Syria map, and uh, what we're gonna simulate today is we're gonna have a Jordanian, Royal Jordanian Air Force F-16 here at H4. It's gonna go out and intercept and kill in uh, an Iraqi MiG-21 that's gonna come across the border. Why a MiG-21, you ask, come against an F-16? Well, it's the only skin I've got for the Iraqi Air Force at the moment. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to have the uh, MiG-21 as a... Um, it's not going to fight the aircraft, it's just, just going to fly through, essentially. So let's go ahead and shove our F-16 on the ground. Let's go ahead and change it to a Jordanian aircraft. Okay, that's a red aircraft. Let's change that to a blue. Okay. And uh, let's just go ahead and select the skin for a auto in There we go. Uh, let's change our tasking to intercept. Now, I don't like that. I like to have it with uh, some fuel tanks on. Ooh, wrong one there. Fuel tanks. So. QRA, what is QRA? So Quick Reaction Alert, or QRA for short, is the role of an asset or a group tasked with a quick response to a given situation. So in our case, it's going to be a hostile aircraft coming into a blue airspace. So we've got our aircraft now set up on the ground. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him take off parking from hot. Now, the reason I do that is just because it happens quicker, a bit more to real life. Uh, DCS is good at, uh, you know, having an AI fly about and everything, but if I have him set to take off from ramp, he's got to go through the whole alignment and all that sort of stuff, and it sort of um, eats into the time frame that you'd want it to uh, respond to. So I have it take off from hot, because then he's also, when he pops in, um, he's, also, he's already got his engine started, and he just taxis out and goes, kind of simulating a... Um, you know, quick reaction alert, you know. Uh, so we'll go ahead here and I'm going to make him late activated because if I don't, as soon as the, the uh, scenario runs, he'll just take off and go, and I don't want that to happen. There's a few things that I'm going to do here to make it a little bit more realistic and what you can um, program into your missions yourself. And we're going to use triggers to do this, okay? So I'm going to call... Uh, this aircraft, let's call him the Defender. Oops, can't spell today. Oh, I apologize for that. Let's copy that and paste there. Okay, so he's got some, he's got missiles on, aim 20s, aim 9s, uh, it's fine. Okay, so and then once he takes off, I'm gonna have him uh, just come out and fly this way and let's get him up to uh, 16 and a half thousand feet. That's 400 knots. Okay, so that's cool. So now our aircraft here, because he's late activated, uh, he's not going to spawn until I tell him to spawn. Now you could say, oh, well, why aren't you adding a condition based for an intercept role? So if we go ahead and select object one, if we come to perform task, there isn't a intercept there. And if we start task and route, there's no... Um, task that I can assign to the aircraft here. So this is how I do it. There could well be other ways to do it, but uh, like I say, I'm just going to go on with what I use and I find it works perfectly fine. So I'm going to go here, ahead here and uh, create a trigger zone. I'm going to spawn that into the map and I'm going to change that to a quad point because that means I can manipulate uh, the, the dimensions of it. And what I'm going to do is change it to sort of match the border of Jordan. So let's let's do it roughly like that. I know it encroaches a little bit on Iraqi airspace, but you know usually the 
they'd probably see an incoming threat coming towards them and they'd probably scramble uh, air crew to, to the aircraft to get them ready just in case and they do come across the border. And we'll call this the uh, trigger, just to make it easy. Okay, boom. Uh, in fact, let's, uh, let's make it red so we can see it. Okay, easy. Next, let's bring in our hostile aircraft. So let's go to Iraq, uh, MiG-21. Let's have him back here at the moment. Let's have him put 26,500 feet. Uh, let's give him a skin. Like I said, this is the, uh, the only skin I've got for them re for Iraq, really, I think. Um, and there we go. And let's just call him. Um, let's just call him Red Force. Okay. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to have him not engage or tangle with uh, this aircraft. He's just going to fly straight and level and uh, not engage at all. So we're going to have weapons hold and we're not going to have him react to any sort of threat situation. And then let's just go ahead and put my waypoint inside Jordan in, uh, Jordanian airspace. So just to ensure that he flies through that trigger zone and then he should spawn in. But before we get to that, we've got to create some triggers for it. So let's go to the trigger menu. So let's just call it uh, QRA spawn. Uh, condition, we're gonna have a uh, we need all of coalition in a zone. We're going to need parts of a coalition in a zone. Or you could, I mean, you could use any condition really. Uh, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to just go with a part of coalition in zone, which means that any red coalition that goes into the uh, trigger zone that we've got selected here could be airplane, a helicopter, a naval asset, or a ground asset. I'm going to have all purely just because I know I've got, it's just an aircraft, you know, but like I say, you could have it just for specific things. So say if you've got um, an Apache, you could just have any ground-based assets that come into this trigger zone, you're going to, uh, your Apache is going to spawn in there and perform a QRA mission and go and uh, defeat any hostile in that area. But for this, I'm just going to have, I said it's war, it just keeps it easy. Next in the action, I'm going to go ahead across to a group activate and I'm going to activate the defender so let's just go over that so the trigger is QRA spawn once a red or a hostile uh, aircraft is in the trigger zone so in our case the MiG-21 then the QRA aircraft the F-16 from Jordan is going to spawn in okay and that should be that let's go ahead and run the mission and see how it performs And there's our MiG-21. Now, as you can see on the map, we've only got the MiG-21 active. And we've just got to wait for it to fly across the border. Let's just speed up time a little bit here, just make it easy for us. Okay. Boop. And now he's gone into that trigger zone that we set up, and the F-16 is there ready. Anyways, that taxiing out of Parking 12. Okay, and I'm going to speed it up just for the. just to help us out a little bit. Okay, so he's airborne, turning and burning, and uh, what he should do now is get to a point when he sees the MiG 21 and he will go and engage it. What we should see is uh, the reheat will kick in and that's how I know that he's seen the target. So let's just speed it up here. Is he going to do it? This is the question. Okay. 
No, he's not. Typical. But I think I know why. What I need to do is change his ROE instructions to weapons free. That should ensure that it works. Let's go have another look. Otherwise, if it's um, designated, he's waiting for somebody to task him almost, I think. And that's how I see anyway, because he's otherwise he just doesn't do it. He, it's almost like he needs that prompt to do it. So let's go ahead to weapons free, and then he should just uh, go ahead and kill him. Okay, so here he is engaged. Yep. You see he's in this reheat now. Steaming towards the other aircraft. I should see a missile fly off in a minute. There we go. Boom. You are dead. Then your F-16 will just return to base as instructed. So that's how I set up for a QRA mission or a quick reaction alert mission. Like I said, you can do this for any type of asset. You know, you could have Apaches there waiting for ground units to come into an area. Um, anything. But that's what I do. So it's quite handy if you want to sort of simulate a, a no-fly zone almost. You know, you can cordon off an area, and if uh, a hostile target comes into that area, then your then your unit will spawn in. And as we saw with the triggers, we can have it if uh, all all assets spawn in, or if it's only airborne assets, such as uh, airplanes or helicopters, ground units, and all that sort of stuff. Good stuff. Obviously, depending on what aircraft you select to uh, perform the intercept will depend on what they engage. So for example, if you've got uh, an F-16, that will probably engage all types of targets because it has a gun so it can engage ground targets and it has missiles so it can engage air targets. If you uh, load it out with bombs as well, it will probably engage ground targets. If you select an Apache, for example, it's probably only going to engage ground-based targets because that's what it's set up to do. Um, so that's how I go about creating a QRA mission. I hope you found it useful and that you can use it in your missions. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think and tell me about the missions that you've created. Um, other than that, I've got nothing else to add. So thank you for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.